and their presentation of the Stations of the Cross. With so many distractions in the world, it can be tough to keep 10-year-olds focused on learning. That's especially true when it's a subject as complicated as the passion and death of Christ. For several years, Nancy Noiser and Lisa Del Maro have worked with fourth graders at St. Charles in Hartley. By performing a living Stations of the Cross, they're helping children understand what Holy Week is all about. I wanted to bring it to a younger audience, this beautiful ritual, this Catholic ritual we have of the Stations of the Cross. Fourth graders are just very eager to please. Um, they love the fact that they can, you know, really form their faith in a, in a way that's um, hands-on, interactive, and, and be Germanic, because they are. <laughs> Everyone has a part to play, including angels, soldiers, Jesus, and Mary. Teachers choose names from a hat to determine who plays each role. I am a narrator, and the, the best part about it is you get to tell the story about what happened in the stations that Jesus had suffered through, and it teaches us what Jesus did for us and sacrificed his life. Kind of have to act like you're really like sad for your son and you, I like the angels because the angels are sparkly. The presentation with music and pageantry is held during school and in the evening for parishioners. After the performance of the Living Stations of the Cross, the teachers have a discussion so kids can ask questions. The students appreciate this approach to learning and find some valuable lessons on their own. How much they suffered and how I want to do that. Instead of just reading out of a Bible or talking about it, you actually get to play part. It's a lesson they'll remember for a long time. I'll think about how much fun it was to put on this play. Just remember how it was like in Jesus' time. If you speak to any of the children that I've had, you know, that are in high school now, it's one of the things that they remember being a part of, and um, they come together as a class, and they learn together. And the students aren't the only ones learning. I think that every time I hear the Passion read now on um, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, whatever, I think of the kids, and I think about all the things that they've told me even, and I, and I think about how I need to be better. I'm Barbara Haig reporting. Thank you, Barbara Haig.